Hey, welcome back to Dirty Shirt Workshop. Yet another one of uh, Dad's tools made its way down this weekend. This uh, Bridgeport milling machine. Already got it up on the uh, backhoe here. I sucked this piece of uh, long re-rod through here, or ready rod, so that strap wouldn't come off just in case. Got it up off the trailer here. Just gonna do the same as the lathe. Pull it out with the truck, pull the truck out then lower it down and put it where it goes. That was a nice, clean, uneventful job. Thing looks short with the head crooked and no motor. It's normally like that. Looks small in here too. It looked really big in Dad's little shop. Well, I got wiring to do and all that. We'll uh, we'll check it out when it's. As I've been checking this mill out over the week and working on figuring out what I want to do for the wiring, where I want to put the VFD and everything. I figured out I actually want to move it because there's just a big waste of space right here. So I'm going to pull it out so it's uh, so you work from this side and I'll move the CNC machine in. So if you got a boom lift, great way to drag machines around in your shop. Super easy. push it in a little bit more not sure tell you what that beats the pants off of uh, a pry bar for sure I got all my wiring done and things hooked up. I'll uh, show you that in a minute. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna turn it on here. Ready? Here we go. Spindle works. I want the feed motor. That works both ways. Let's try wrapping. That's working. Now let's try reverse. Both things in reverse, not like you'd ever do that. Try some different uh, gears on the feed motor here. That should be the slowest one. Yep. Oh, 
That's one thing I really like with the variable frequency drive. You can set it to break the motor. One other thing on this, there's a separate box over here for the uh, feed motor here. So this should still run. Yep, and then the feed motor isn't running down here. So that works. Here, I guess I didn't demonstrate that well. Doing nothing. It's a little quieter that way. All right, so what did I do on here? I went ahead and I replaced all the wiring to the motor, the main switch here, all the way back down here. I put everything in liquid tight conduit. I'm really enjoying using that stuff. It works really good. Uh, it's easy, it's flexible, works nice. And then uh, there's the main, this is the three phase switch panel here. So I got three phase coming in here from the, fa the uh, variable frequency drive up there. So here power comes in, goes over to my wall. That lead actually goes up behind all this through this other piece of conduit here and into the VFD. And then the three phase comes out and then this is just all hooked up the way it normally would be. And then uh, this is what goes out to the motor, that goes out to the feed motor. And I got me a nice long lead here so I can put this somewhere else if I want. Do you have a shut off switch here, hooked to the wall and plugged in. So this thing's working pretty good. I need to get, do some cleaning on it here get it set up the uh, I really just kept everything we set up when we uh, hooked up this VSD VFD that my dad had gotten years ago it, it's a good setup and it works good so I'm just gonna stick with it get this thing well lubricated and cleaned up this table looks pretty crusty I don't think there's any damage on it it's just uh, uh, old cutting oil and stuff that's on here. And then uh, the other thing I want to do is get the CNC moved back here now where that chair is. All that space, that'll just be where the machine is. So I'll actually have a lot more space over on this other side. So I'm gonna go eat and get back to work. Okay, I got this cleaned up real good. Sure does look a lot nicer. You can even get in here and read these scales. You can see the numbers real good on them. This one too. Table looks a lot better. All right, let me block the sun, you can see better. <laughs> and then uh, got shelving out here for the, the mill and the lathe tooling. So that really fits in here pretty nice. Get to everything. I move my toolbox back in there. So let's uh, give you a test cut. That's just a piece of a uh, quarter inch wall square tubing. I couldn't tell you my feed rate or RPM. I just found something that was cutting really nice and that's what I'm running here. All right, you can check it out here. Got real nice chips. Came out real good. Well, I'd say this machine's ready for service. You should be seeing more of it here in Dirty Shirt Workshop. Thanks for watching.